we are first going to create an array of criteria. And this will be a bunch of objects, actually. And each criteria is going to have a test that takes a user. And in this first test, we're going to say the username must be at least six characters. So let's say user.username.length uh, is greater than or equal to six. So this will return true only if the username is greater than or equal to six. And we can associate a message with uh, the failure of this test. So we'll say username must be at least six characters. And we will add a second criteria. So we can do we can say that our user's age must be at least 18. So we will test user user dot age uh, is greater than or equal to 18. And for this our message will be user must be at least 18 years old. And just we can add one final test and we will say that the uh, this is pretty common the user password must equal the user's confirmation password. So our message for that will be something like uh, password and password confirmation must match. Okay, so we've created a number of criteria that each have tests. And if those tests fail, we have messages that we're going to display. So let's create a user object to test with, we will say const user equals uh, username, uh, Jimbo, one, two, three, uh, Jimbo will be 19 years old. Jimbo's password uh, will again be one, two, three, four, five, six. Please do not make that your actual password. And then Jimbo's confirm password will also be one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, according to our current criteria, uh, this user should actually pass our validation. So let's make our validator function. Again, it's gotta be a pure function. So uh, const validate user, it's going to take both our user and our criteria. And so uh, we are actually going to use a reduce uh, array method here. So we can get all of our applicable errors by taking our criteria object. Again, it's going to be the same criteria that are here and reduce this. Uh, the first argument is a function and that function will be accumulating our messages and uh, each individual item will be our criterion. And uh, if, so let's take a look here. For each criterion, we're going to use the criterion's test and pass the user to it. So if criterion.test user, so this is, we actually want to say if this test fails, let's go ahead and uh, return. Actually, we don't want to return here. Uh, we can say messages.push criterion.message. So again, if our test fails, then we are going to push our uh, new message onto the errors array, and then we can just return our messages. Okay, great. And so uh, in the end, this function has to return something. So we are going to return. We want to return our errors, uh, but we might also want to return uh, whether the object itself is valid. So we can just say errors.length equals uh, to zero. So if, if it equals zero, then it's valid. Otherwise, if we have any errors, that means it's not valid. So now we can say const is valid equals validate user pass our user object, pass our criteria object, and then we can console log is valid. And uh, we run this and our password and password confirmation must, must match. I actually didn't mean to type password confirmation incorrectly, but it's catching that, which is good. So I'm going to remove that extraneous character on our password confirmation, run this again, and we see, okay, errors, there's no errors, our validation is true. 
uh, which is great. And so we can now try messing around with a little bit. Uh, we can make our person too young, run it again. User must be at least 18 years old. Uh, we can change, what can we change here? Our username, we can just make it a five character username. Uh, run this again. Uh, we have both of our errors in our errors right now. So uh, this, this was kind of uh, maybe a little bit of fancy logic, but what's really nice about this from a pure function perspective is that our validate user function can now be isolated, it can be tested. So we can just simply include our validate user in our test and create a fake user object, create some fake criteria, and really test that our logic within this code block here is ironclad. And that's uh, certainly one tremendous advantage of using pure functions.